Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is podcast 7.2 for uh, biology. This is Mr. Bennett here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And say we're going to be taking a look at the actual process of mitosis um, and what happens in cell division. And so the definition that all, you know, really all you need to know is that mitosis is the process of cell division. Okay, so if you remember in the last podcast, 7.1, we looked at the entire cycle, uh, looking at interphase and how it runs into, remember over here, this is mitosis in the middle. Uh, and so now we're going to be sectioning out this piece of uh, the cell cycle, looking at mitosis, looking at the division. And so you should already have these pictures down. We started this in class, but mitosis is split into four phases, okay? Um, and they're listed below, but so we're starting right here at the top. This is prophase. You sure already have this written down again. Number two, this is metaphase. Number three, down here on the bottom right, is anaphase. And step four is telophase. And as I was thinking about these notes, I decided I don't want this arrow here anymore. Um, so I just want you to go ahead and cross that straight out because we do not go from telophase back to prophase. It's not really representative. So the cell cycle, or the, the mitosis cycle rather, is four steps within the entire cell cycle on the front of the page there. Um, you should have these pictures um, already. I'm not going to take time to draw them just to save time. If you have questions on them, you can ask me in class. But this is on the website. Okay, These pictures are on the website. You can check those out on your own time. Uh, so we're going to move down here to the descriptions now of what happens in each phase. Uh, and so what I've got is I've got a, um, markers or, or two, one or two bullets for each of these phases. We're going to be focusing on these four and then we'll talk about the other ones. And so I'm going to be throwing some new vocabulary at you today as well. So uh, if you miss something, pause it all right, and then go back and rewind and go from there. Uh, so we're starting with prophase, and there's two things that happen in prophase. And the first one is that the chromosomes, or the DNA, okay, so chromosomes, or you can also think of DNA, they condense, they coil up, okay, uh, and they get really, really dark, they get really short. DNA is normally really long and diffuse. Well, they condense down into these things called chromos or chromosomes, they condense into these things called chromatids, C-H-R-O-M-A-T-I-D-S, and they're in pairs. Uh, and what these chromatids are, are, are they're just, you know, sets of chromosomes. So if a chromosome A, when it duplicates, it's also going to be paired with that A. And there's a structure that we need to do. So over on the right in this empty space here, I need you to draw like a, like an X. Okay, so this would be one. And then the other is right next to it, and they overlap. So we've got one here, and it kind of overlaps in the middle there. So let me do these in different colors so you can see them a little bit. So the blue one is one chromosome, and the red one is the other. Okay, And these are identical to each other. They're twins. So each of these are chromosomes, and when they're together, they are called sister chromatids. Chromatids. And they're attached at the middle, okay, by this special little attachment called a centromere. Oh, I got I'm running out of space. This is the centromere. Oh gosh, let me do it over here on the left. Okay, so we've got chromosomes condensing into chromatids. So one one chromosome here is a chromatid. Together, they are sister chromatids, and they are held together by the centromere. So that's the first thing. The second thing that happens is that the nucleus dissolves. It's an L. Nucleus dissolves. So there's no more dark nucleus anymore. It's um, it's diffused out. So the chromosomes are all located in these chromatids here. Uh, in metaphase, the the chromosomes they start to line up, or the sister chromatids rather, C H R O M A T, chromatids line up 
in the middle of the cell. Uh, and so we've got this huge row, well not huge, but we've got a long row of X's across the middle of the cell. And another structure comes into play, well two structures. We have these things called spindle fibers, spindle fibers attach to the centromere. Okay, so these little wiry, um, almost like silk threads, they come out and they attach, let me draw this in blue, to the centromere, okay, of all of the sister chromatids. And these come from a structure called the centriole, from, from the centriole. Okay, it's another organelle in the cell. Uh, so in metaphase, the chromatids line up across the middle, and then the centrioles create these spindle fibers that attach to the centromere. So I'm throwing a lot of vocabulary right now. So let me say that one more time. So in metaphase, the centrioles, these are organelles, use spindle fibers to attach to the centromere right here on the middle. Okay, and that's metaphase. In anaphase, the, uh, the chromatids, the sister chromatids, Sister chromatids separate. And these centrioles were kind of like fish hooks. Um, so they send the spindle fibers out, then they reel them apart, and the, the chromatids, they're, they're pulled to opposite ends of the cell. Um, and that's, that's probably uh, the most important thing because we only want to get one copy of each of these uh, chromatids. We'll be talking about some genetic defects later uh, in the year that have to do with incorrect separation of chromatins. And then the last part is telophase, and this is where the chromosomes uncoil, or the chromatids, rather. They uncoil, so they start to stretch out like a big, long, sleeky. Um, they're not nearly as dark as what they were. And then the nucleus redevelops. Okay, uh, so the chromatids, they start to unwind from each other and the nucleus starts to form around them again. And then I'm actually going to have you add one thing, and this isn't really part of mitosis, it's another process, it's a follow-up. So this is called cytokinesis. And this is the step when the cell membrane, okay, the cell membrane pinches, wow. That did not write very well at all. The cell membrane, let me rewrite that so we can see it even. I'm sorry about that. The cell membrane pinches. Okay. Uh, the cell in half. So we've got, um, let me draw a picture up here for us. So we've got, here's our cell. Okay, our chromosomes, we've got half over here and half over here. So essentially what we have are two nuclei. So the process of cytokinesis is when that um, the, the cell membrane essentially works like a zipper. Okay, and it starts to pinch that, that cell in two. Like if you've ever taken a water balloon and pinched the middle or twisted it, that's what you start to get. So one half is going this way, the other half is going that way, and they've each got their nucleus in there. Okay, and they're two daughter cells now. So what these form are daughter cells. And these are identical to one another. Okay, they have the same exact DNA. They're, they're exact copies of each other. Um, so that was a lot of vocabulary in this, in this section here. So um, first of all, make sure you get these pictures on the website. And then second, take your time and go through and make sure you've got all the vocabulary down. Okay, you need chromatids, you need the centromere, spindle fibers, um, and the centriole are all really important pieces um, in this chunk of the text. Uh, and again, in your textbook, this is chapter 10. So if you need to go look something up, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we'll just keep talking about it in class.